systemsx.ch, the Swiss initiative in systems biology. Systemsx.ch is the largest ever public research initiative in Switzerland. Currently, Systemsx.ch supports over 100 projects and 300 research groups, with a total of more than 1,000 scientists at 12 partner institutions. The TEF Improvement Project is a sub-project of the Systemsx Research, Technology and Development Project, Plant Growth. This project was run by the Institute of Plant Sciences at the University of Bern. TEF is a nutritious plant of the millet family. It is one of the most important food sources for millions of people in East Africa. TEF is a major food crop in the Horn of Africa, especially in Ethiopia, where about 50 million people use as a staple food. Most East African and especially Ethiopian farmers plant TEF, providing nourishment for about 30 million people. But there is a big problem. As much as half of the crop is lost every year, because TEF stems are long and weak. Wind and rain quickly make the plants bend and snap. Year after year, tons of nutritious seeds are ruined. The Ethiopian researcher Zerihun Tadele and his team want this to change. They have found a lead for a solution at the Institute of Plant Sciences at the University of Bern. I think one thing is clear with this. With these shorter and firmer stems, harvest would increase in rural areas and improve food supply. We therefore look for a way to create short stem TEF plants. So far, no natural TEF variety has been found to have short stems. This meant that a plant with the required properties through simple crossbreeding could not be obtained. Therefore, Tadele and his team used the tilling method. Tilling stands for targeted induced local lesions in genomes. This technique entails exposing plant seeds to a substance that provokes random gene modifications. By doing so, we accelerate natural mutation. By nature, mutation occurs day after day and year after year. And this is a mutation we also see in humans and uh, other animals. Um, in, in our case, we don't insert genes. So the process we are involving is, is free of transgenic or GMO. Then the treated plant seeds are screened to find those with genetic mutations. After mutagenesis, we screen the plants and we are focusing mainly on genes which are potentially involved in plant height. If we find seeds having mutations in these areas, we pick them out and plant them in our greenhouse. In just a few weeks, the effect of each mutation can be observed on the appearance of the plants. With this method, we obtained these short and sturdy plants in a short period of time. But the story doesn't end here. Scientists observed an unexpected side effect. Some new plants not only had stems of the required length, they also exhibited constant growth under both extreme drought and flood conditions. That is an immense advantage. In Africa, crops are destroyed by periods of drought and inundations depending on the region. The Bernese scientists have already sent the first batch of promising plants to Ethiopia for field tests. The products and the knowledge we develop here is not only for the system biology, but also for uh, East African farmers. Not only are TEF plants produced in Bern sent regularly for field tests in Ethiopia, but also special lectures are offered in both countries. At this rate, a new agricultural revolution could very soon take place in East Africa.
Find out more about the Swiss Initiative in Systems Biology at systemsx.ch.